everybody, and welcome to Reading, Writing, and Arithmetic. I'm Jan Harris. I'm the superintendent of Dade County Schools, and I hope everyone had a wonderful Thanksgiving holiday. We sure did. It was great being out of school for a few days, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've got a lot of uh, special guests here today. We have the Teacher of the Year from Dade Middle School, Mr. Will Martin. How you doing, Mr. Martin? I'm doing fantastic, Dr. Harris. How are you today? <laughs> I'm good. Who you got with you today? I have my pro team uh, from DMS. Uh, many of you may not know that we broadcast live every morning the Dade Middle School morning announcements, and this is the team that brings that to you every day. Uh, right here I have Lee Barron, and Lee is my uh, first man in in the morning. Morning and he sets everything up and runs everything behind the scenes. And then I have uh, Sydney Johnson and Blake Henley, who are some of our stars that get in front of the camera. These guys do a great job, and I'm just delighted to have them here with us. Well, I heard that there was an opening on the Today Show, yes, uh, so perhaps they would like opening. to apply for Matt Lauer's Possibly, position. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> uh, they could do it. I've seen the show, and it's really um, stellar. It's a stellar show. Well, Lee, what is um, what's a typical morning like uh, as you're preparing? <clears throat> excuse me for the broadcast each day. Tell us about it. Most mornings it runs pretty smoothly, but some mornings it can get chaotic, as sometimes we have people show up late. <laughs> yes, that is. True. And sometimes equipment will just uh, quit. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So what's the most challenging thing about it? The most mm -hmm. challenging thing is getting people to read the prompter right and <laughs> keeping their words straight and not tangling themselves up. Yes. Well, this is a professional um, studio that you're running. Do you put the, um, the words in the teleprompter for the stars to read? The we'll broadcasters? Uh-huh. How interesting. So how do you handle if, um, you know, one of the broadcasters, like, makes a mistake or... Most of the time we're able to clear it up pretty quickly, but if we don't, then Mr. Martin takes care of it. <laughs> <laughs> so does Mr. Martin really produce the news? Most of the time the students are the ones who are doing most of the stuff. They do a good job, Mr. Martin? Always, always. Uh, several people always ask me, um, are you at all nervous about letting middle schoolers go live to the world every morning? Yes, but they always meet the challenge, and I, I love it. I love to watch them grow, too. Mm -hmm. So if it's live, you can't correct it at that point, but when you then have it on YouTube, then you can correct it at that point? Later, um, mm -hmm. later we could edit it if we need to, but no, once we're live, the only thing we can do is stop it. So, um, but we've never had that problem. We've mm -hmm. never had it go so, so wrong that we needed to stop it. In fact, mm -hmm. it's usually better than we um, could hope for in a lot of cases. That's great. Um, you're the like top supervisor for the what's your title do you have a title like are you the director most of the time i'll take over as director mm -hmm. to make sure everyone gets their jobs done and make sure everyone's ready for when we go live so um you prefer being behind the scenes instead of in front of the camera i do <laughs> <laughs> well you're doing a great job right now being on the camera isn't he well, Mr. Martin, what do uh, Sydney and Blake uh, do? I know they're the broadcasters, but tell us about them. Uh, Sydney and Blake have, um, we, we talk about the it that some kids have, mm -hmm. and, uh, and these two definitely have it. They're just able to show personality and be interesting on camera every morning, even when you're just delivering things like the bus such and such is late this morning, or the mm -hmm. basketball team will meet at three o'clock today. Uh, Sydney in particular can find some, some appropriate ways to wake up the news most of the time. And the other day, uh, Sydney threw on a pair of goggles um, <laughs> for a news segment. And it just, just little things that show personality. I, lo I love to watch these two work. And Blake can tell you all about the wig. And I'll let Blake talk about the wig. Well, the wig was, um, it was Halloween. We dress up 
for Halloween Day, and I came as a hippie. So I did the sports <laughs> news and the lunch news with uh, long hair and long wig. Yes. So I think I thought it was pretty cool, and I thought it was really fun to just be someone else on the news. Well, I, when I watch it, I laugh out loud, which is my measure of a really good book or a yes. really good show. I can't think of a time when I've watched your show that I didn't laugh out loud. It's so humorous. I mean, is that just spontaneous, um, Sydney? Is it just a spontaneous thing, or do y'all plan, you know? It's very, like, it's, yeah, it's fun, and mm -hmm. it gives you, like, you can put, like he said, you can put your personality into it. And you get to show, like, who you really are. I'm laughing because I'm thinking about when y'all were talking about costumes. Okay. And y'all are like, no clown. <laughs> no <laughs> yes. clown outfit. Tell, tell everybody at home about that. That was funny. Do you know what I'm talking about? How the clown yeah, comes? Sure. Tell them about That's, that. Remember what I'm talking about? Yes, the students had an opportunity <laughs> to dress up for Halloween. But the student council, or the student advisory committee, actually put a mandate out to the student body that there were absolutely no clown costumes. <laughs> so during the news every day when they would make that announcement, we always had a little clown that would pop up in the background behind the news anchors. But yeah, thank you for catching that. Too. It was <laughs> so funny. And I'm wondering, like, if I am... Um, sorry, Cody, I just tapped the table here, which is a no-no. <laughs> anyway, rightly... I'm surprised you didn't chastise me for that since you're the director. <laughs> but anyway, um, if people at home want to watch your show, can they watch it every day with people at school? Every day. All you have to do is visit our uh, WDMS YouTube channel, and mm -hmm. you can see the broadcast every day. And there we are right there. There's our intro. Oh, I love it. I love all the stuff of the students, yeah. It's great. Oh, this is today's broadcast. Okay. There we are. There's uh, Sky and Aubrey. Yeah. Such a wonderful job. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent job. So if, it, if people at home want to watch, how do they do that? They go to your station. If you go to our um, channel at WDMS on YouTube, every day the live feed will be the first option, and you can just click on that. And you can also have uh, just a field day clicking through all the past broadcasts and all the other videos that are on there. You can see our mistakes and the times that we do really well, although sometimes we take the, the bad ones down. But that's our secret. <laughs> <laughs> well, do you all have favorite um, episodes? Can anybody think about, like, what was your favorite thing, like? I would probably say when Blake dressed up as a hippie, because that was pretty funny. <laughs> and then it's kind of funny to look back and see the times we messed up, and then also look how we've grown from it, too. Mm-hmm. What about you, Mr. Martin? Can you think of a... My, probably my favorite memory was last year when we went live for the very first time and I just kind of held my breath. And, uh, and ever since then, I've just seen that every time they, they rise to the occasion, they treat the deadline um, seriously, they treat the material seriously. And one of my favorite things to do, not missing school is not one of my favorite things to do, but when I do have to miss school, I'm so encouraged that they continue on without me and you can still really? join the broadcast mm -hmm. and you can see them still doing it and um, and I'll watch from home or when my mother was in the hospital we watched from the hospital mm -hmm. uh, lobby I got them to even turn it on there and just it's just amazing to me that our students can produce this and they do produce this well and you know as an educator um, one of the impressive outcomes from this program is um, the learning aspect of the young people having this opportunity to go public and we know that when students write an essay and they're going to read it in public they're going to do a better job mm -hmm. than if they write an essay 
to just be on someone's desk. Yes. So um, I'm wondering, what has been the greatest thing that you've learned from having this opportunity, you know, to be in this? It's a great leadership opportunity. Each one of you, um, you know, have the, this opportunity to be a leader in your designated roles. So what's something that that you feel you've learned from this? I mean, public speaking, communication, grammar, uh, anything in particular jump out at you that you'll take away from this experience? It helps with public speaking a lot. <laughs> and also I think it's really cool whenever you just get to like, cause all the students at DMS watch it. So it's really cool for them to wake up and see it. What about the teamwork? Do you have to work interdependently in order to make a show? Well, we really have to depend on our producers and depend on our editors to get us through it and make sure that everything, all the equipment is working. Before we start the news, sometimes we get a run through um, of the prompter, which is what we read from uh -huh. the camera. We, uh -huh. That's our kind of our script. But really what we learned from it is that um, it's a good way to put yourself out there. And at school, it's a really good way for people to know who you are and know what you do in broadcasting. Okay. Yeah. Mr. Martin, how do you think of, um, we've got to take a break here in just a second, but um, when you have these little funny moments on the show like, Sometimes it's the unexpected that grabs me, and I like that. I like to um, be surprised, yeah. you know. And so, like when you speed it up, you know, oh, and yes. it's going really. <laughs> that is so funny. How, how do you come up with these little ideas? Just creativity. Yeah, it's so in the moment. Mm -hmm. um, a student will suggest something, and they'll think that it's just. They'll think it's almost childish in mm -hmm, a way, mm -hmm. and I just try to encourage them. That's actually a really clever idea, mm -hmm. and that actually can lead you into this industry, having those little ideas. Mm -hmm. And so when they do have a little idea, mm -hmm. uh, I try to honor it. I try to mm -hmm. give it a try, mm -hmm. uh, but also not not being afraid to say, no, that's, mm -hmm. that's not appropriate. But... Um, but uh, yeah, I, I love to try all the little things like that. And mm -hmm. uh, that segment in particular where we sped their voices up because they were reading slowly, mm -hmm. uh, it was really to prove a point, but yes. it actually made everyone in the school pay attention to the news that day. So It was fun. Well, thank you, Mr. <laughs> Martin, Lee Barron, Sidney Johnson, and Blake Henley. Thank you for the excellent work you did, and thank you for being on the show today. We'll take a break. At Reed Funeral Home of Whitwell, a tradition of caring is carried out through a personal commitment to each family. Our experienced staff and funeral directors and embalmers stand ready to help you through your toughest times. We offer every type of funeral service from traditional to cremation or any combination of life celebration. Depend on the Reed family and Reed Funeral Home of Whitwell, 11675 Highway 28 in Whitwell, 658-5516. Funeral Home. The most immediate signs of marijuana use include No the signs. No the signs. Bloodshot eyes. Increased heart rate. No the signs. No the signs. Increased appetite. Memory impairment. Difficult paying attention or solving problems. No the signs. Please no the signs. No the signs. No the signs. With marijuana use, you may experience anxiety, fear or panic reactions, hallucinations, paranoia, or delusional behavior. Know the signs. Know the signs. Know the signs. Know the signs. Marijuana use is illegal in Georgia, Alabama, and Tennessee. Know the signs. Know the signs. Please know the signs. Unfortunately, we do.
Looking for a great way to change your look? You'll find the friendly professionals at a Classy Cut Salon ready to care for you. A Classy Cut Salon is in the Gross Shopping Center next to the Dollar General. We serve men and women of all ages at a Classy Cut Salon. Call 657-5607. That's 657-5607 for an appointment. Or just walk right in for your next Classy Cut from a Classy Cut Salon in the Gross Shopping Center, Highway 11 North in Trenton. Paul Feinbaum, you tell it like it is. This is the SEC. SCC, SCC. Well, they ought to just play one more line, but whoever wins, the other team just have to get out. They don't even play football in the SEC no more. You realize Alabama lost to Auburn last year, don't you? Oh, yeah, that, I laid in bed two days after that. After that, after that the after Paul that. Feinbaum Show, weekday afternoons 3 to 7 on News Radio 1420 and 106.1 FM KWN and Chattanooga's News Talk 97.7 KWN. A small bank with big service. Citizens Bank and Trust. Offering a wide range of services, including online banking. Pay your bills. Manage your account anytime, 24 hours a day. Your account balance is only a phone call away as well at 657-1234. Or visit our convenient locations. Look out Mountain, Georgia, Higdon, Alabama, on our main branch on Highway 11 and Trent. Citizens Bank and Trust. 657-5678. A community bank that believes in the community. Citizens Bank and Trust. Member FDIC Equal Housing Lender. The Dade County School System continues to put the safety of students first. That's why the Love the Bus Elementary campaign rolls on. Love the Bus is designed to teach students the importance of safety, respect, and proper bus etiquette as we continue to enhance efforts of safety for our students. We'd like to have you as part of our team. If you're considering a career as a bus driver, call the Dade County Schools Transportation Department at 706-657-7053 today. Part-time hours with full-time benefits as a bus driver for the Dade County School System. Hey everybody, we're back and we have more beautiful and handsome Dade County students with us, as well as one of our very best teachers, Pamela Stone. Miss Stone is um, also on our Character Ed Committee. Yeah. How are you doing, Miss Stone? I'm good. How are you, Dr. Harris? Just fine. Okay. And I understand you know uh, the owner of the television studio, Evan Stone? I think so. I think it might be my husband, <laughs> so maybe. I, it's on a good day I'll claim him. If it's a bad day, no, I don't know him. Okay. Well, he, he's a great guy. And he is. And it's wonderful. We're so appreciative of him giving us the opportunity to showcase our students every week so thank you mr stone um who have you got with you today well i have he was on the last segment Mm -hmm. this is lee Barron. he has been in fpla this is his second year he actually won uh at state level last year in in a social media Mm -hmm. um and then next to him is ali daniels she is a seventh grader and she is new to fpla this year not new Mm -hmm. to my class Mm -hmm. i've had her but Mm -hmm. Um, and then it is Anna, or Brianna is her name, but she goes by Anna Hicks. Mm-hmm. And she is in seventh grade, and she is new this year as well to FPLA. And then this is Gracie Lawson, and she is not new to FPLA. She's in seventh grade as well, but she uh, was in competitions last year and did a lot, of, very active in FPLA last year. So very excited about them. Well, we're so glad to have y'all here and to showcase your work um, to all of the residents of Dade County. So we're going to talk about character traits um, that you work on in class. We do. And um, we just went through Advanced Ed accreditation visit, and they were so impressed with your flyers. So guys, turn your flyers. They they brought some examples of the flyers. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you can stand real well. So, which one do you want to tell them what we do on the flyers? You guys can take turns. Read the, yeah, tell them what it, what's on there. Attendance. The action or state of going regularly to, regularly to or being present at a place or event. And then we put a picture of Dade County on it. Uh-huh. And then we have a picture of the action of attendance. And then, a quote, it's so important to understand your good attendance ups your chances of graduating. And then we just put our name, grade level, and our period. So attendance was the word of the week. Yes, ma'am. Part of our character ed plan. Mm-hmm. So, and they each do different. I mean, we brought several different ones, mm-hmm. and they're all, like, different. But they all have a, um, here, you can hold it. 
But they all have to have, I require a count, it is a grade as well, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. but um, they have to have something about Dade County, like a picture, mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. then an action showing the action of whatever the character trait is, and of course the title of the character trait, and I teach it like it's a marketing tool, mm-hmm. because in the real world, if you were trying to sell a product, you would need somebody to want to watch it, and if we don't make them so kids and adults want to stop and look at it, mm-hmm. it does no good. Nobody's going to want to use it. So they learn how to stand back and they, I mean, I don't know, Anna does it and Allie, do you remember standing back and looking at yours and trying to figure it out? Yeah. So, but does it help when you stand back and you kind of look at it from a distance? Very much. It does. It really does help. What does yours say? Patience. Um, The ability to accept delay, suffering, or annoyance without becoming angry. Adopt the pace of nature. Her secret is patience. By yeah, Ralph tell them what the picture Walton. is, and they can't see the picture. But the little picture, what, describe it to them. It's a cat waiting for a mouse to come out of its hole. <laughs> <laughs> and the quote from Ralph Waldo Emerson is, Adopt the pace of nature. Her secret is patience. Mm-hmm. I like that. That is good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, um, is it true that you share these with other schools in our school system? We do. Who wants to take that? Lee, you can talk. We we take flyers that the students in her class make, Mm -hmm. and we take them to the elementary schools, and Ms. Stone hangs them up around the schools so that they can get a feel for what it will be like in middle school. And we hang them around our school as well. And mm-hmm. both of the elementary, uh, at Davis, at least last year, uh, he would have the top five pulled out every week, and mm-hmm. they would read them on the announcements. And uh, Miss Spice also, they both were so appreciative that our kids did that. And the kids, I think, have a really good time because it's a real world, you know, kind of thing. And then it brings it into the community, which for me is so important to bring them and let them see what real community is like. Mm-hmm. So that's right. And I've seen these um, creative, exemplary pieces of work, uh, inspiring pieces of work, (laughs) hanging in the hallways at um, the schools. Every Friday we replace them. Yeah. That's good. That's great. And this week, the word of the week is? Marketing. Self-control and stability, isn't it? Stability. 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 Mm -hmm. Stability. Stability. There you go. But my kids are always a week ahead. So you're already into next week. We're already mm-hmm. doing. We always next do a week weeks. ahead, mm-hmm. which is ethics. Which is ethics. So okay. yeah. So I thought that's what they were going to answer. It was probably ethics. Uh, yeah, mm-hmm. ethics. There you go. Wonderful. So it was. Well, do you want to talk about FBLA now? Sure. Mm-hmm. Um, Grace, you want to talk about what we're doing with the can tabs? We're collecting can tabs for the Ronald McDonald House, which goes for helps babies and other families who are having to put when their child is in the hospital there for a long time and they need somewhere to stay close to their child. You stay at the Ronald McDonald house and then they have soap, shampoo, anything you need. They have there for you. And then we are, for the can tabs, We are doing it, and it goes to money to help the Ronald McDonald House. That's wonderful. It is. So we Mm -hmm. toured it last year, and I took about seven or eight kids. Did you go with us, Lee? I did. Okay, so tell me a little bit about what it's like when we went there. When we first walked in, they have a big room with a fireplace for the families who are staying there. And then we got to go see one of the rooms that they would stay in. It's very nice. Like a hotel room. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, and they give them one meal, totally Mm -hmm. cooked, every day, for free, but cooked. And different companies come in and actually cook, volunteer to Mm -hmm. cook and bring in the food. And then they have a pantry like you would at home that is gigantic. And they get it, and there's, um, oh my gosh, refrigerators. But you cook on your floors, and then you just, when you're in your room, it's just a bedroom Mm -hmm. and a bathroom. And it's just so helpful. There was a, a woman there when we were leaving, and she had had her baby prematurely, and she had been in the hospital for like five months, 
and that mom got to live in the Ronald McDonald House right next to the hospital so she didn't have to go far so she could be there if there was an emergency mm -hmm. and they How love wonderful. volunteers so the kids had a really good time going last year and we'd collect can tabs and we put them in gallon baggies and we had what 23 gallon containers last year or no was it more I think it was like 26. Maybe it was 26. And so far, we have about 15 already this year. And I mean, we just go with all these can tabs. It's just enormous. So, where can they deliver can tabs to, guys? They can bring them to the KWN TV station here in Trenton, or they can bring them to the middle school. Yep. Wonderful. Any middle schooler can bring them in. Now, the kids get, if you give it to your kid and they're in middle school, they're, they're, they're competing for a cookie cake party. I figured there would be a house competition. There is. Mm -hmm. Well, we didn't do house because it was too hard to separate by house, mm -hmm. but we do, we do by first grade? academic period, mm -hmm. oh, okay. which is grade level, mm -hmm. and then they also the whole entire grade level. So mm -hmm. if eighth grade wins the most, they get free sweet tea. Mm -hmm. for lunch mm -hmm. and then the first academic period will actually come into our room and my stu my FBLA student served whoever won and got to serve them oh how fun so they kind of learned a little bit about the community service aspect of that as well so. that's fun now where is the Ronald McDonald house is that in Chattanooga it is in Chattanooga, in Chattanooga? The nearest, yes, how the, wonderful it is and it's mm -hmm. right there on downtown mm -hmm. um, and it's great it, and it helps so many you'd be amazed when I asked it helps a lot of kids from our actual families from our area too because mm -hmm. it's the closest one mm -hmm. and then they're fixing to go to competition mm -hmm. um, they're gonna go to regional leadership conference and in fact last night was the deadline at midnight and so we were I was making sure they were all registered Lee what do you take what your competitions in I'm taking social media concepts and computer and internet concepts yeah he won for what what place did you win last year third fourth second third third at state it's the entire state of Georgia, by the way. Wow. So, and then Allie's taking, what are you taking, Allie? I'm doing grammar and business spelling. Yep, top 50 uh, spelling words that are most misspelled by business. Mm. And Anna, okay. what are you taking? I'm doing the, um, I don't remember the name of it. Mm-hmm. Do you remember the name of the stone? Uh, mm -hmm. You're doing too. I think you're doing. Um, no, I don't. I'm sorry. Well, that's okay. I, that's okay. And then, Gracie, what mm -hmm. are you taking? What about you? I'm taking the social media concepts mm -hmm. and I think business concepts. Okay. So, I'm wondering about those 50 most misspelled words in the business arena. Do you remember any of them? No, what? but I have been studying over a uh -huh. lot of them. We don't actually get to know the list. Oh, okay. And so you go to competition. Right. So we just give them, uh -huh. I tell them to go to websites, uh -huh. and you, there's some that I've printed out that are the most misspelled. Uh -huh. Some are the most business. Sometimes they're just the hardest business words. So we've kind of made a list of stuff. And the social media concepts, it's not what most people think, which is, wow, how do you post something on Facebook? No, it's who invented it? Why did they invent it? What caused it? Mm -hmm. Even the question, what was the question last year about why is Twitter blue or why is... Why is Facebook's color blue? And what was the answer? Uh, he is colorblind and he can only see blue. So oh. the kids had to take competitions <laughs> and that was one of the test questions. So they don't always know right. until they do. So Until they do. Well, it's very, very exciting. It sounds like that will be a lot of fun, and um, you'll take that test on December 6th right here. At Dade Middle School. At Dade Middle School. Yep. So is that on a weekday? It's yeah, Wednesday. It's Wednesday. Yep, it's That's in, next yep, Wednesday. It's Wednesday. That's right. Okay. Yep. Well, I want to hear about that, and yep. then after the test... Can you come to one of our um, teacher leader meetings and teach us about those misspelled words? That'll Can you be do exciting. That? Yeah, I, I need to see that list. I want to spell correctly. Um, I sure do. Well, you know, great things are happening at Dade Middle School, and um, we're so proud of the good work that you're producing over there. And so we appreciate Mr. Martin and um, his students being here today to tell us about the, the broadcast program, Every Day the News program, and to hear about the character traits. I love seeing FBLA and the business skills being incorporated into this beautiful outcome that is inspiring so many people. And uh, it creates an awareness. It does. 
of, uh, of the words and uh, helps us all to be better people. So it helps me. I know yesterday um, someone was talking about this week, you know, that um, the words of the week. So anyway, we'll tune in next week and we'll be meeting, um, I believe, our new school nutrition manager is going to be Ooh. here and we'll be talking about fruits and vegetables and what's uh, going to be served in the lunchroom. So you will not want to miss next week because we all have one thing in common. What's that? We like to eat, yes. right? Yes. Everybody likes to eat lunch. So yes. tune in next week. Thank you for joining us on Reading, Writing, and Arithmetic. Wave goodbye.